Child Protective Services have taken Lil Tay. Who's gonna be flexing on those hoes now? It's a hoax, it's not real. Lil Tay is safe and sound and is still producing the Instagram content that we've all come to know and love. She's like everybody's dream daughter. Richer than me, so she could look after me and pay for everything that I want. I mean, well behaved. Be careful, verify. Obviously. Now this whole controversy with Lil Tay becoming some type of actual serious storyline, which was something that I wasn't expecting, all came from a post she made about her manager confiscating her account. Now I don't know about you, Lil Taylor, but I don't know if I'd call my mum and dad my manager. And in more news of how much can you break the privacy of a child to the point where it's actually scary, creepy, and maybe even illegal, we found out who Lil Tay's mum is. Because that's something that we should all know. Lil Tay's mum is a Canadian real estate agent. Help me, please. So when Lil Tay said that that's her car and her apartment and her Gucci lint roller, she, she meant her parents. What do y'all broke-ass bitches have? Explains a lot, though. I mean, her parents still still own all that stuff, so... Maybe it didn't rub off very well. Because that's what the comments say on Lil Tay's posts. And I want to go through some of her comments. Because I did them in the last video, and I don't think I did them justice in a twisted sense of the word. Lil Tay for Prez. Account managed by Gucci Gang. Youngest flexor of the century, Gucci Gang face tat at 10 mil. Well, she's 10 times away from that. So hopefully she gets those face tats on her. She posted this video calling Bad Baby a racist. But I want to look at the comments before we get into the content. Just wait till you get to high school. If you talk like that, your ass will be slammed by a senior. She's a child, mate. You're advocating for violence against a nine-year-old. Maybe you should reevaluate your life. What happened to your parents putting soup or hot sauce in your mouth when you cussed? I think if your parents put soup in your mouth, it's called feeding you. I don't think that's a punishment. Although, if your parents put hot sauce in your mouth when you cussed, Jeremy, I think you're a victim of child abuse. Well, that's what that's called. And advocating to abuse another child. It's a bit weird. It's a bit odd. Dude, if I was her mum, I would legit ground her and take away all her shit. She wouldn't be allowed to go outside, even though it hurts everyone's eyes when she does from her ugliness. You called a nine-year-old ugly. I think you ugly. <laughs> These comments are just not okay. These comments are just not needed or allowed because number one, it's an act. It's an act, people. I don't know if people have to point that out more than once to you, but it's not real. That's why this exists. Because if it was real, then parents probably would have stepped in and it wouldn't have a high budget behind it. And if it was real, these comments also are not okay. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not something that you could just explain away. At the end of the day, she is a real nine-year-old child, act or not. So to see people actually feel like it's okay to send abuse towards this actor, or not actor, that's still a real person who has to read these and receive these and also has to go outside and be treated like their character. And that's not okay. Now let's look over the rest of the videos that we've got on Lil Tay's page and try and figure out whether she is or isn't a character. Although, let's face it, we already know. Yo, what's up? This Lil Tay, the youngest flexor of the century. I'm gonna be talking about the fight between me, Vicky, and Bad Baby trying to sneak Vicky from the back. Like, she tried to punch Vicky. You can't fight properly? You a pussy! She knew that I could smack her auntie and I can destroy her. Oh man, they're very good at acting out high school drama, aren't they? This really is modern day high school banter. This is. Instead of actually doing this in a playground between about 20 of your mates in a circle all with their hoods up, it's three people with budgets in LA making diss videos for each other at the age of nine. You were the one that called the cops, the biggest snitch ever. You went on Twitter and tweeted those lies. You a snitch. I love that. I always love that. 
when somebody was being beaten to death in the playground, and the person who went, oh, teacher, somebody's dying in the middle of the quad on the football pitch, they'd be called a snitch. Back with those Twitter fingers. Back with those Twitter fingers. Exactly. Summed it up, Lil Tay. I'm on your side. I agree with you. Uh, I would be the nine-year-old sitting on the side, not doing anything in the fight. And then I'd just talk shit about it on Twitter. Now I've never been in a gang, which may surprise a few of you, but this is prime gang behaviour, which is why she most definitely deserves the comment she's getting on this video. Use a dummy, it would actually be you, spelt with a, a, a Y and an O and a, and, and a U, but, but apart from that, use a dummy, you ain't in no fucking trap house, <laughs> you not rich, all those ones and 100 is that, no bread, look at my S and I. That was from Famous Lou, spelt with a zero. What's more gang? Threatening to beat up a child? Being a child who's got a bathroom that looks like that? Gang shit. I'm only nine years old, but I'll be flexing your mama's rent. Fuck the Smith and Wesson, we keep a big chopper on us on the streets. Beach, if y'all try to mess with us, I'm gonna shit it on your mama. Gang shit. Alright, there's no need to say stuff like that about my mum, but I can understand why people might get angry with that, you know. You're threatening mums now, Lil Tay, that's a, that's an area no gang would cross into. But you've ended up pissing off Slender Proxy Boss. Let me see this little bitch walking around in LA, I'ma beat her ass. Yep, you're going to prison. Where the fuck your parents at? Gang of shit, you're only nine, how the fuck do you even know what that is? Take your ass on somewhere. Skull emoji, symbolising the fact that they're dead inside. Clearly you don't even know what a trap house is. You're making your parents and yourself look so bad, you look like the bleached version of Dora. An insult to somebody's appearance at nine years old. That's gonna do her a world of good for her self-confidence. She stole that money. I don't know about you, but have you never had to get three quid out for a fruit sheet? Desperate times. I know where the house is that has the money in it. I know where the piggy bank is. We've all done it. We've all done it. We're all on that gang shit. Lil Tay out here on the top of Beverly Hills. I run this beat. Who do you see doing it like Lil Tay? I'm the youngest one doing it. I run LA. I got shooters there, there, here. I got shooters everywhere. Lil Tay got shooters everywhere. I don't know what that means. Let me just Google it. What? is a shooter. A person who uses a gun either regularly or on a particular occasion. What, like when a nine-year-old is being attacked by comments on the internet? No one gonna try cross Lil Tay. Look at this view. You know, it doesn't compare. Because I'm in Norwich right now. So my view is very different. I think the motto of the story is that we just need to understand that Lil Tay is just better than us. And if you are a 40 year old man on Instagram, with zeros in your name instead of O's, you should probably realise that it's pretty sad and pathetic to be abusing a child on the internet, especially when it's probably not even real. Oh, hang on, I'm, I'm getting a call from my, from my management. Yeah. yeah oh, alright, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll be back in time for dinner. Yeah, love you mum. All right, yeah, love you. I'm recording. Yep, bye. Whole lot of gang shit. Well, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. It'd be greatly appreciated. If you guys want to, don't forget to turn notifications on. It greatly helps me and supports the channel. There's also a couple videos you could go watch that will be on the outro of this one. So you should go click them and go check them out. Thanks for watching, and uh, I've got a go. <laughs> um, gang, gang. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, people. Have a good day. Yeah.